So I would like to begin. Yeto, what do you think? Let's begin. Yes. Okay. 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 Very nice. Um, first of all, welcome, dear participants. Welcome to our today's uh, online seminar that we offer you on a regular basis in cooperation with the German University. And our today's uh, uh, guest is the HTW Berlin University of Applied Sciences. I'm very pleased that you will be spending the next 60 minutes with us. My name is Salha Nejah. I'm the Deputy Director of the Regional DRD Office Tunis and I will accompany you now during this event. As I've already said, we uh, offer you, let's say, every two to three months an online seminar together with a German university. And we offer you there always the university, their special programs, and the representatives of the German universities are there to answer all your questions and, and, and show you this uh, very nice offer. I'm very happy to introduce you now, Ms. Jette Wienbrecht. Um, she's the program manager for the Master of Professional IT Business and Digitalization, and she will provide us with all important information about our today's topic. If you have already um, attended one of our online seminars, then you certainly know that our online seminars are always interactive. It means that you will begin, you will be, uh, get at the beginning some uh, information, some input from, uh, from us. And during the presentation, you have the possibility to ask written questions. It means that you have on the right a chat box where you can uh, put all your question in it. And if the time will permit, we will always be able to activate some of your microphones and listen maybe also to some oral questions. Um, the chat will rest uh, available during the whole event and uh, please don't hesitate to write there all your questions. Uh, one last info, our online seminar will be recorded and will be available on our YouTube channel DRD Tunisia. It means that if you will miss a part, if you will miss the whole um, seminar, then the online registration will be available in a couple of days. I think by the end of this week, maybe you will have the possibility to, um, to, to have a look on it. Now, um, I wish you a very exciting and informative online seminar and dear Jette, the floor is now yours. Thank you. Um, thanks for having me. Thanks for the invitation. Uh, welcome to everybody. And uh, uh, yes, uh, I look forward to your to answer your questions. But first of all, let me introduce um, to to the HTV a bit. Um, first of all, this is me. Um, and today, um, my focus will be um, on the international master degree programs that we are offering. Um, but first of all, HTV, as you might not know it already, um, is a University of Applied Sciences. It is the largest University of Applied Sciences in Berlin with um, over 14,000 students. Its business is on, uh, it focuses on business administration, engineering and even design, but with a very interdisciplinary approach. Overall, we have 70 degree programs in five faculties and on two campuses on the east of Berlin. And one is um, actually the best campus in Berlin because it's really located near to the Spree River. Um, yeah, so uh, we have almost 300 professors plus 800 associate lecturers, which means they're coming from industry, they're really um, practitioners, and they're bringing their um, practical insights into the lectures, which is actually the, uh, the typical part of being a university of applied sciences. We have strong connections to the industry and uh, we are very um, um, project oriented. I will that, uh, explain that later. Uh, if you will eventually become a student, you will be one of our 3000 international students and we have 3000 uh, graduates every year. 
um, as I uh, explained before, um, a university of applied sciences is um, characterized by a very high practice orientation. Um, also in its academia, it's really um, tailored towards market demands. So you gain practical exercises, you have games, workshops, case studies projects and we closely cooperate with companies. Um, they offer internships, for example. You also have the possibility to write your thesis even with the company, which is um, makes it very practical. And therefore we seek for holistic thinkers and problem solvers. And uh, being a graduate of HTV, um, ends up in a high employ employability of yourself. So you're ready for, for work, sort of speak. Um, HTV ranks amongst HR managers uh, on top three industry oriented study programs. So it's one of the biggest uh, within the HR managers uh, of the biggest German companies. So um, it, it's applicable for business administration, computer science, engineering, business informatics and industrial engineering. So we are top three um, um, in this, like in this, um, institution for industry in Germany. Of course, we have um, service for you. Uh, this is the normal like state of the art um, library, you have PC pools, you can enter software packages, we have sports facilities, canteens, we have a career service, we have a startup competence center, and for the international students, we have the international office and we have a program office for the international master. So I'm representing them. So um, basically, um, I or my colleagues, we would be uh, your contact person during the whole application process, during the studies, and even after having graduated, um, keeping you in our network as alumni is of high importance to you. So we really take care of you. Um, even if me and my colleague, we don't have an answer, we make sure to have it. So it's really a, a special um, role and usually we are in close connection. So this is uh, what I'm going to talk about today. We have a um, so-called division of continuing education where we are uh, within the framework of RTB, um, we are positioned and this adds up the, the four master degree programs that I'm represent that I'd like to present to you more, which is a master's of uh, business administration and engineering. Then we have a master's of project management and data science. We have an, again, a master um, MBA and E, but a special focus on life science industry, life science management. And we have a master of science in professional IT business and digitalization. However, we also have other masters, uh, for example, international business and the international and development economics. Um, we have one single bachelor program, which is also international business in English, um, which, uh, yeah, yeah, one single program. So clear focus is on the masters. And today my presentation will focus also on the masters programs. Um, and, uh, here it goes. Uh, the the very first one, that one uh, where I'm um, the program manager, which is the master professional IT business and digitalization. It's a master of science, which is aiming at linking IT with business. So it's also an international postgraduate master. We have three semesters. Uh, you will gain 90 ECTS credit points. Um, of course, there is an optional internship possible. The program is fully taught in English. It's, it's targeted to international students. Um, however, I can tell you that we have um, in all of the programs, we have the possibility and we are offering um, uh, voluntary um, German language uh, classes, but for the pro programs that I uh, will um, further explain to you, there is no need to know German. Of course, it's always uh, like kind of a, a added value to know German, but not a necessity. 
In this program, we have a group of maximum 25 students. We have extracurricular offerings like uh, excursions, like German language classes, as I said, like um, also networking activities. And application deadline is uh, valid till, 23rd, till the end of February this year. Um, and this is true for the old program. So application is currently open. So uh, please consider if, if this is of interest to you to check our website to apply and feel free to get back to me whenever you have a question. So the, 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 the program is, as I said, a unique combination of in-depth IT skills and economic aspects. It's uh, reflecting the full range of data-driven innovation, such as uh, data science, cloud computing, IT um, security, uh, requirements engineering, mobile computing. Uh, so all of the state-of-the-art um, um, topics you will you will learn further and you will have on the one hand you will have teachers from academia so hard tv uh, professors themselves but added uh, from experts from it related companies and the industry this um on top we will have guest lectures we have corporations with certain companies and this is uh, one thing I'd like to emphasize. It's very project oriented and practical. So you will have one main project uh, each semester and then several smaller projects within the different topics as well. What do you need to apply? Do you need to have an undergraduate degree? Uh, preferably IT related, but it's not a um, it's not a must if you have, for example, um, the interest and you have a very appealing profile. If you have um, working experience in the IT sector, uh, I strongly encourage you to apply as well. Uh, but um, one requirement would be one year of post graduation work experience. Um, if you consider to apply, you need to be fluent in English, um, which need to be um, proved by um, either uh, uh, like a language certified test like IELTS, TOEFL, or if your degree um, was held in English and you have the proof for that, that can be accepted as well. So uh, in general, it's not that we just per se check your uh, average grade and and hop or top, but we we will screen the whole profile and your whole motivation, and um, then uh, see whether uh, whether you can become a student from us or not. So see, this is uh, uh, like one example of the courses that we're teaching. So as I said, data science, cloud computing, for instance. Then we have the project study in the first and second semester. And the third semester is mainly focusing on writing the thesis. You have a supporting thesis writing seminar in one last class. Um, but usually you will have um, uh, three semesters. Um, and the program is always starting in October. So currently applications are open. Uh, until the end of February for the program starting in uh, this autumn in October uh, 2023. So with this uh, degree at hand, uh, it clearly opens the door uh, to a career as an IT and business leader in the five most important roles like digital business designer or architect as a data scientist, enterprise architect, chief digital officer or cloud architect. And one thing which is on top is the intercultural competence that you gain here in the program. And uh, as, a, as a prospective, IT related profiles are, are in highest demand in Germany. We are really seeking for talents and uh, Berlin is kind of the startup capital in Germany. But of course, uh, there's other bigger um, companies which are more located, located in the southern parts, southern west uh, parts of Germany, and also there, um, they're searching for IT specialists. As I said before, German language skills are an asset, but especially in the IT sector, it's not, it's not a must. So people are aware of 
using English as a business language. And yeah, please feel free to check out uh, the website. And um, if you have questions, you will definitely get in touch with me and I'm happy to answer them. Now, I will move on to another program, which is the Master of Business Administration and Engineering. So it's a unique combination of MBA and um, MBA. So the, the classic Master of Business Administration combined with engineering and that's very unique and it's kind so you will get um diverse and interdisciplinary approach um you will immediately apply what you have learned in a practical context um, you improve your analytical abilities and team communication skills you enhance your job market profile and strengthen your individual profiles by choosing one of our five specialization options, which are, um, for example, lean management, global procurement, interdisciplinary um, organization. So uh, this is a very good combination um, of um, an MBA and E with with the with the um, yeah MBA and the engineering part. Also here um, for uh, requirements for application is that you have a bachelor's degree and um, preferably also in either business or in the technical engineering part. Then after graduation one year, so 12 months of um, experiences of practical experience and proof of English language and then feel free to apply. Um, we also, this application is currently open to apply for this program until the end of February with the start next October. And if you want to become an expert to meet strong industry demands, feel free. If you have further questions, feel free to contact my colleagues and uh, they will definitely answer your questions as well if you have more precise questions. The next program is also an MBA and E but uh, especially targeted for the life science industry, for the health uh, sector. So if you, um, especially if you are a scientist or engineer or a manager in the um, uh, life science, health, pharma industry, but you want to have more, you, you don't still don't want to stay in the lab. Usually this program is really a good way to get out of the lab into the managery um, departments in the pharma industry, biotech, medtech, cosmetics, food, um, yeah, medi me medi medicine. That's uh, especially a program that could be of interest to you. Um, also, it's uh, ta it's tailored for three semesters. Um, it, it, again, you should have a um, bachelor's degree, preferably in one of these fields. However, if you have an interesting appealing profile, um, this could be also a good, um, yeah, we, we always assess your overall profile. So if you have a, maybe just say you have a legal background and now you want to move on uh, to the pharma or you already being a lawyer, you have been working in the pharma industry, it's very likely even um, that that your pro profile would fit very well. So it's not yes or no, this or that um, um, degree that you have at hand. We always check the overall profile. So you ha should have a bachelor's degree, at least 12 months of work experience in the field and uh, um, yeah, reasonable proof of English language. The program is also open for application which starts in October this year. And should you have any questions, also feel free to contact my colleagues. And finally, we have the fourth uh, international master's program, which is a master's of science, project management and data science, which is uh, dual competencies in project management and data analysis. You will have a mix of online and on campus um, classes, which gives you a bit more flexibility and individual time management. Uh, for example, if you plan to stay one, one semester back home, one semester in the US, one semester in Europe, uh, this program is very helpful for that. It's uh, four semesters. You will have a practice oriented approach. Professors are experienced in industry networking with world leading companies. 
um, they're open to students with a range of backgrounds. So it's a more general program, I'd say. So uh, all all pro like all profiles are welcome. Um, it's it's a bit more business oriented, I'd say. And of course, uh, you have excellent international career prospects. And again, let me emphasize that you can um, you should have a bachelor's degree. Um, you should have at least 12 months of work experience and a proof of English language. Um, if you have questions regarding that program, feel free to get in touch with my colleagues. And uh, yeah, we look forward to receive your application by the end of February. Now, um, I'd like to start with a more general um, yeah, part, more general questions. However, feel free to, to ask um, more precise questions in the chat. And if the presentation is over, we can get back to it. So, but if you plan to work in Germany, it's usually like that. You have um, the possibility to work during the studies with the visa. And this is uh, up to 120 full days or 240 half days a year. I mean, a calendar year during your studies. Um, so this is within, then you don't have to apply for it. This is within your visa regime being a student. If you intend to stay in Germany after the graduation, that is possible. Ideally, you even like the transition from the studies to a, a permanent job is is like uh, ideally you 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 just turn from the studies to a permanent job and we really have that cases a lot as we have that as i described before we have that strong connections we have the possibility to write a thesis with the industry so usually the transition period is quite short but still if uh, there are certain reasons you have to search for a job um, you you can have a visa, uh, like a shift of visa for a job seeking visa up to 18 months. And um, during that period, even working is allowed. And after, after uh, finding a job, you, you can work with the work permit or even the EU blue card. Um, yes, the, the language skills, the language um, ex expectations differ from a C1 German to English. It's it's depending a bit on the industry sector and where you go. For example, Berlin is a very international city. Um, but again, we say that um, it, it might be a plus to start learn German. And therefore, we are offering uh, intensive classes where you can um, polish your German or start learning German. Scholarships is um, always a question when you go abroad. Of course, you want to plan. Your, your one option to finance uh, your stay abroad can be scholarships. And uh, histor historically, uh, German universities do offer very seldom scholarships themselves because it's not like in the US, it's not like in UK, where there's a huge tradition of doing so. So it's very rare. And even Hard TV is not actually quite not uh, offering uh, scholarships. Therefore, and now it links us to DAAD, we are um, usually referring to the DAD scholarship uh, database where you can please uh, put in um, and search for uh, scholarships that are available for you for the programs and search because the, the idea is usually listing an overhance like a comprehensive overall um, list. However, I can tell there that we have made a very good experience, for example, with SV, SBV Berlin scholarships. Um, and here they are listing a few ones that you can check, but ideally the ID is a very good address to start your research with. Um, yes. Now let me um, come to the living costs, how much you need to plan in. Usually you also need to have a proof of financial capacities. And um, yeah, usually we say that you should plan in 500 euros for accommodation might be a bit more this year. 
uh, food and miscellaneous um, 400 and health insurance around um, 110 euros, which is um, ends up in being a bit more than 1000 euros per month for living expenses. So it ends up for the 14 uh, for the 18 months that the schedule uh, programs are up to 14,000 to 18,000 euros that you should plan in. Of course, you don't need to have it at the beginning, but just to plan your stay. Here I'm listing again the, the contact details. So feel free to contact uh, um, the program managers. Feel free to get in touch and check again HTV website. Um, there's um, other programs. And uh, yes, that that was it. Short introduction. And now I'm really happy to answer your questions. And I do look forward. Okay. Very short, but also very effective and very clear. Thank you, Jette, very much for this presentation and for all this worth uh, information. I, I I think everything is clear and we already got some questions uh, and I would like to begin. No, before I begin, um, I would like to invite you to, to write more questions. Um, uh, probably uh, in the in the public chat, you can write all your questions you have now in your mind. If uh, anything wasn't clear, if you need more information from the team, or also if you have um, some questions um, uh, regarding the DAD, we are also there to answer to answer them and to 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 help you um, with 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 all information that could be um, available. Um, let's begin with the, some questions we, questions we already got. Um, um, first questions, uh, question is regarding the English certificate. So you have already mentioned that you um, accept the IELTS and also the TOEFL. Um, here in Tunisia, we have um, the TOEIC, which is very common and very mm -hmm. um, um, and, and, and very well used. So the TOEIC is test of English for international communication, also offered by the British Council or by Amidist. I'm not sure. One, I think Amidist. Yes, I'm sure it's Amidist. And um, here the question: If you also accept this uh, certification? Yeah, I mean, um, sorry that I don't know the regional um, specifications, but obviously um, a good like if it's an official institution, of course we would accept that. This was just a few examples, and uh, usually you can say with the um, C1, ideally you you got a like kind of on a good track. But of course, B2 can also be accepted. So if you have a proof for B2 level, do not hesitate to apply uh, because as I have been describing before, we are checking the overall pro pro uh, like profile. But at least you should have B2 level because, um, yeah, the program is in English and this is the, the minimum requirement to really follow the classes and to work. And um, yeah, so the, the short answer, Yes, we will accept that. Okay, clear. Um, uh, second question, is it possible to begin a master in the home country and continue then the second or the third semester at HTV Berlin? Uh, or is it only possible to begin the master from the first semester at HTV? So, and if you accept it, what are the criteria? Yeah, um, no, it's not possible because it's really uh, and uh, the, the programs as such are conceptualized to be holistic within themselves and for us it would be really a hard thing to combine to compare um so it's not possible to combine it so either you start or it's not possible to to recognize okay. some things the other thing is however if you have been studying in a german university in rare cases we can check individual um, classes and that can be accepted, but with other third countries, sort of speak, um, it won't be possible, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Here, another question, where do we could find more information about other study programs at HTV Berlin? Yeah, see the link in the, in my presentation studies, it, uh, it should link to the, the programs, but you can also. 
Um, question from Tarek. Is it possible to apply and then send my language certification later? Oh, yeah, that's a good thing. Uh, I strongly encourage you to do that. If you have an appointment scheduled, please apply and explain that it might um, come later because usually uh, with this, you might not be in the 1st round, but you might be on the waiting list and securing your space on the waiting list and usually um, not everybody who is. Uh, yeah, our experience is that um, there's it's very likely to to get a place if you are on high rank. So my answer would be yes, apply, explain that you would submit it later and then um, if it's completed, submit it later and then it's. It can be done like this. Mm -hmm. Next question here from Mohammed. I have 12 uh, out of 20 uh, in Tunisian in the Tunisian grade system. How can I know the grade is if the grade is okay or not? Um, also, I have a certificate B2 IELTS, but um, it's now more than two years old. Is it okay? Do you accept okay. it? Okay. I first. Let me get back to the IELTS. Yes, because we assume that if you have that have been reaching that level of of English, it won't disappear. So two years, it's very valid. Yeah, it's it's not it's not ten years or twenty years. Um, regarding the system, it's it's very special. Um, we are using an official database called Anabin, which is used by every. Um, German universities in order to somehow translate your grade into the German system. And I think uh, your, your grade is quite well. Uh, and still, um, even if it's not the best grade, we don't check the grades only exclusively. It will be always your overall profile. So I can only tell you, please um, apply because usually uh, we check everything and just not only the, the, the simply your degree or your, your grade that you got. Okay, we have put you now in the chat box also the link uh, from Anadin so that you can have a look on it. Next question from Montasir. What's the deadline for the master program data science science? Also the 23rd of um, 28 of February, of February. So last day of February for all of them. Okay. Yes. Then the next question in French. I will read it in French or shall I translate it directly? No, read it in French then. Okay. Votre conseil pour mon fils OHD qui passe son bac mat cette année. Il souhaite continuer ses études en allemand actuellement avec un niveau A2. So we have here bachelor so a uh, student who will uh, finish and uh, if any recommendation for him he has the german a2 level and uh, yes i uh, maybe you know a bit better because i'm more specialized on the international programs i think mm -hmm. for, but for german you need to have this dsh prüfung right so to to have this proof of german language so if he wants to study in in, in german I think R2 is not sufficient. I think yes, you have to better like have a higher level. Yes, it will be enough for the visa application, but for the visa application, he will need a conditional approval from the German university. And maybe you can give him here some advices. Yeah, I mean, it depends a bit if, if he wants to have a like this to study in English, then it shouldn't be a problem problem, but if he wants to study in, in, in German, I think it, it might be very, very special. Maybe then the recommendation would be to first enter Germany to, to have a German language like classes, but this is not offered by HTV. So um, I can only tell you that, um, yeah, please get in touch with the, uh, with the programs that you, you see um what what do they recommend but a2 is kind of hard to to follow it to to study i think mm -hmm. yes maybe peut-être je peux résumer encore une fois en français donc avec un a2 
C'est un bon point de départ, mais ce n'est pas suffisant pour faire des études. Mais avec le A2, vous pouvez préparer euh, la demande de visa et par la suite, vous vérifiez sur les liens que vous avez euh, reçus de, de la part de Madame Yette s'il y a un programme qui s'adapte à son profit et par la suite, vous, vous continuez la démarche, c'est-à-dire il faut continuer à apprendre la langue allemande en Allemagne. Donc, le A2 n'est pas suffisant. Voilà. Next question from you. Uh, my question is about the age at any age limit. No, there's no age limit, especially as we are a bit more uh, postgraduate programs. So um, there's also people who have more work experience, of course, and there's no age limit. So if you feel like you're a certain point and you have gain comprehensive work experience even better than because then we can really meet and you can really valuably uh, contribute to the network and it's usually a mixture of students who are a bit younger but some who are more advanced in their career and want to get the next step so i strongly recommend to apply because there's no age limit okay very nice next question from abdul halim is there any any master programs in the field of education? No, because not at HTV, because we are specialized on um, economics, business, engineering. Um, yeah, nothing with education. I'm sorry. In that case, I'd recommend to go to the to approach and check the profiles of the classic universities like uh, Humboldt University or Freie University, Free University of Berlin, if you want to go to Berlin. But at HTV, no, unfortunately not. Okay, next question from Ali. Um, I have a license of business administration with 3.5 GPA from an English university in Tunis and approximately four professional experience as a financial analyst or from SPW. So I would like to give you the floor first of all, and then I will tell about our programs. Unfortunately, the connection was a bit um, interrupted, but just to sum up, he has a bachelor's degree with um, four years of work experience in the field of business administration. In which program he is interested in the MBA and E program or in which precisely? In any, okay. He didn't write it. Yeah, okay. So, uh, like now it seems that you're qualifying for some of the programs. So, I um, fully understand it. Um, so, you fulfill the criteria because you have, if, if you, you have been graduating on an English university. So, if somewhere in your degree certificate or in your transcript is marked that the degree was studied in English, this can be a sufficient proof already. And uh, so you have the English proof, you have a bachelor's degree, you have four years of uh, work experience, so you do qualify uh, for applying. Yes, definitely. Okay, regarding the DAD scholarship programs, we have a scholarship program um, for young professionals with so a university degree plus at least two years of your working experience. And we have for about 40 different programs in different fields. There's also, there are also some programs in the financial field. So um, my colleague will send you now the link, the direct link from our scholarship database. I don't know if there's a program with the HTV Berlin, you need to check it, but there are some programs with uh, your profile. We will write you now the link uh, in the chat box. Next question from Mohammed. Is it free to apply for the for the program or do we need to pay to pass by the UniAssist system? Yeah, okay. So let me say that uh, the the application process for that program, that four that I have been presenting, is free. Um, however, the programs are tuition fee based, so check how, how much tuition fees are there. And uh, there's other programs under the HTVA that goes with UniAssist, but those four programs are free and we are not cooperating with UniAssist, which gives us more freedom and more flexibility to really deeply analyze your profile and to really deeply get in touch with you regarding your precise questions. So no UniAssist for those four programs, which is usually a plus, I'd say. OK, 
Okay, connection was interrupted. Okay, yeah, the next one from yeah. any math or chemical engineering. Is it now okay? Can you hear me? Yeah, now it's good. Chemical engineering. Um, if if that person wants to go more into the management perspective, so like um product management, um R and D, but in a in a upper level towards um management towards um, yeah, like supply chain in the chemical engineering. Then the MBA and E life science management would suit very well. However, if you want to stay more into the academic research based, then that program is maybe less fitting. But if you want to get gain some management skills and to want to gain some experience in that, like this combination of uh, having lab experience, uh, product development, etc., I think that program should fit you very well. So please have a look and you can get back to my colleagues as well. But like screening that should work very well. Okay. Next question. There are or are there programs for rural engineering or water engineering? Mm, can be no, not not precisely. No. No, I think mm -hmm. because the, the MBA and E is engineering, but maybe check with them again, whether they would say that there is a good uh, option in one of their specializations, uh, the MBA and E. Uh, so MBA E at HTV uh, minus Berlin dot DE could be the good, the best point to check. Okay. Uh, next question from Tarok, are there any application fees and how much are the administrative costs? Application fees are um, no. Administrative costs are we have a semester fee, uh, but semester fee of maximum 300 euros. Um, this includes the ticket, for example, for public transport, administration fees, and then the programs as such um, being so special um are costing up to 14000 euros for the um for the whole program up to i think uh, maximum um 16000 for the programs so there's fees yes but for application no okay um okay good um is the current pandemic still influencing teaching uh, mm. or learning that's very interesting. HTB was the first university who came back to presence and we are really much focusing on um, having presence on campus sessions because we think it's really, it doesn't make sense to, to come to Germany if you're just sitting remote. Uh, there's one uh, exemption, which is the MPMD, the project management program, which has this combination. However, usually most of the um, students are really coming to be here to network uh, with the professors, with each other. So we are really much focusing on this exchange, on this experience, being abroad, being in an international program, having the network. And so we are met very much emphasizing that and we, um, yeah, no, it's not affecting us anymore. So we are really back to business. Okay, so I have read now all the questions I have. I don't know yet if you want to add anything before we begin the closure. Uh, no, and the questions were very interesting. I, I can see that some of you have very precise profiles. So in case you have a doubt or you, you don't see yourself presented, feel free to contact me. Feel free to um, contact one of my colleagues and I try to navigate you to the right program. Um, so usually for those programs, the application is open. For the others, it might take a bit longer because applications will be opening later um, that we have to check. Yeah, so whenever there's any anybody of interest, feel free to get in touch, um, even to cl clarify if you don't feel yourself presented here. Okay, I still got a question now, if you permit. Yes, of course. 
Okay, so um, we have here a question from Tarek. I'm an industrial engineer with SAP consulting experience who wants to apply for the master's program, professional IT and digitalization. Is it okay to apply or should I have a bachelor's degree in IT? No, this is actually the thing that I said. It's not that that is the thing that we are um, saying we are um, checking the overall program because of course, you don't have maybe not the IT related uh, background, but gaining that experience, having worked for SAP for years, of course, you're fitting. So really feel free to apply. Uh, one thing I wanted to explain to you again uh, regarding finances, uh, it, it is one thing which is quite common in Germany is to work as a student assistant or a Werkstudent, we say. So it's like that you work for a, a, a company on site uh, with with uh, with with your studies. So you're studying, but you work on site for a company and usually it's really a good way to gain work experience. And as I said, you're allowed to work uh, 124 days a year or 240 days, a half days, which is 20 hours a week, which is quite uh, sufficient even when you have a full-time study program. But usually it's really a good way of, and it's very common that our students work on site, gaining experience and gaining also the connections to some companies that they, they want uh, to uh, work with or and also getting some money. Okay, very good. So I have another question. So um, can you please send us a recapitulative about the field studied in your university after that uh, event? Yeah, I mean, thank you for link. that. I think um, um, Sawa is uh, sharing your contact details with me and those who agreed uh, to, to have that, uh, I will send you uh, some links, some useful links and again, sum up a bit um, afterwards. So if you have been agreed, uh, if not, maybe contact uh, the DAD office so that they can change and put you to the list. But yes, I will do that. Thank you. Okay, very good. So I would like to share still two or three information with you before we close for uh, all our attendees. Um, first of all, uh, to save the dates. Uh, we will have um, from tomorrow on, I think, a new scholarship programs in green hydrogen. So this is the new uh, trend now in Germany. And there are master scholarship programs, uh, PhD scholarship programs, and also postdoc scholarship programs. The call will be available normally tomorrow on our scholarship database. We'll put it also on our website. And we will offer you an online seminar where our colleagues from the headquarters will tell you more about this program. So if you are in this field, green hydrogen, and you're interested to get a scholarship from the DAD, then um, please follow us on our website. We'll write you the, our website on uh, the YouTube, uh, on, on the chat, and, um, and then you can, um, you, you will be up, day, up to date. Um, follow us also on our book, DAD Tunisie. There you will get all the information. Um, second information I would like to give you now is um, an, a survey. We will put you now in the chat a survey with two small questions in order to give us a feedback. The online thing with German people, like ways to prove uh, this is important for us to get from you. So it only take a one, two minutes, I think, to answer these questions. Two small questions. We will be very happy if you will take part in this survey and we will uh, put you immediately the link on. On our in our um, now to thank you for her time and uh, for all the important and value information we get today about the HTV Berlin. It was very interesting and um, very inspiring. Thank you very much, Yeti, for your time and for the interest in our countries. And we hope that we will see you uh, soon. Yeah, thank you uh, as well. And yeah, I hope to, to be there again next year. And thanks for your time as well. Thanks for your very interesting questions. And yeah, feel free to get back to me and uh, hope to see one or two of you 
or many uh, at Heart TV soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. And please don't forget to take part in this survey. Bye bye. Bye.